Hey friends, welcome back to Ball Homestead. My name is Beverly, and today we are gonna can some Kushaw. I have never grew, I mean, I've attempted to grow Kushaw before, but never had any success until this year, and we had wonderful success. So we're gonna do a canner load of Kushaw today. I just got in from work. Um, I have three massive Kushaws over here. I don't think it's gonna take all those but we're going to can these up and you can use winter squash, butternut, kushaw, those kind of varieties in place of pumpkin. In the winter time, fall, winter, I use a ton of pumpkin because I make these delicious pumpkin muffins. And I'm so excited to have all this free food to can up. So let's get started. These babies are massive. So I'm hoping that, I, I feel like we're gonna get multiple canter loads, but today we're just gonna do one canter load and see how it turns out. When you do winter squash, pumpkin, anything like that, you do not want to puree it and can it. It's not safe canning, but you can cube it and can it. So that is what we're gonna do today. We're just gonna cube this up we're gonna can it in some water, simple, simple. So let's get going. I wanna go ahead and get my canner filled up so it can be warming up. So we're gonna get that done really quick and then we're gonna get all the jars we need for this project. My canner, which is a Presto, will hold seven quarts. I always do winter squash and quarts because once it's cooked, it's really soft and mushy, and you'll get about two cups out of a quart. That's that's kind of what I found. I mean, you can really fit it in there when you start, but once it's cooked, there's about two cups worth. And that's about what I need for a recipe. So it works out perfect for me. But, you know, that's just uh, kind of how it works out the way I pack it in there. Everybody's different, but that's, kind of how I do it. We're gonna get this water in there. I'm gonna go get seven quart jars, make sure they're good and clean, get them prepared for us to fill our Kushaw in. All right, now to begin peeling this Kushaw. What I do is I always kind of cut the end off They're so big and bulky, they're kind of hard. Then I cut the neck off. It just makes it easier because it's so long. And then I'm gonna go through here and peel it. I'm gonna save all these peelings for our pig. I'll take them out to her after we're done. Now the neck shouldn't have any seeds or anything like that in it. So it will be pretty simple to just chunk up and get in some jars. All right, we're gonna get a cutting board here and we're just gonna kind of chop this in manageable pieces. I'm super excited to have this this year. Um, I probably won't can all this because there's quite a bit. I'll use some for fall decorating and stuff like that. I do mine in kind of bigger chunks because this is going to really soften up. And now we're just gonna put it in our nice clean jars. As many as we can get in there, whoops. Let me wash that one off. And start on another jar. So just out of the neck, we're gonna get two quarts of just meat from this squash. And we're just gonna put them in our jars. 
As we fill these jars, we're gonna go ahead, fill them with water, kind of shake them around, make sure there isn't any air bubbles in it. Because being water, it's gonna be really simple to check. Now I'm just gonna kind of split this in half because we have a bunch of seeds in this side. And we're gonna take a spoon and scoop all these seeds out. We have quite a few more of these. I'm gonna try some different recipes to see what we like the best and go from there. You could roast these seeds just like pumpkin seeds if you wanted. Then I'm just gonna cut it up and slice the outsides off. You're gonna need a really sharp knife because one thing with winter squash is it's very tough cutting wise. I want nice full jars because like I said, when this cooks, it's going to shrink down. So you want your jar packed as full as you can get it. All right, now we're going to fill these with water. Just tap water, nothing fancy. I'm not going to put anything in it, just water. We're gonna wipe the rims, put our new seal on, shake them around, make sure there's no air pockets. Leave about a, a inch of head space, just like so. Put our lid on and put it in the canner. I'm gonna go ahead and get this turned on so it can be heating up, because this process is not gonna take long. The pig will love all these scraps. I will take these out to her while this is canning. And she will enjoy it. She loves vegetables. Shake that jar kind of around. Wipe our rim. Put a new lid on and get it in the canner. It's that simple. We're just going to continue to fill our jars up. And like I said, you need a sharp knife and you need to be really careful because um, like these are very tough, tough skinned to get that old skin off of there. I kind of just go through and cut as I go because um, it just makes it easier to me anyways. Everybody's different. Like I have all the skin off this. Well, there's a little piece right there, a little green right there. We're just gonna cut it up and put it in our jars. I'm excited to try different recipes for this because um, I like trying new things. All right, there's another jar here. I'm just gonna keep plugging along. My favorite thing to grow is potatoes and winter squash. I know that sounds weird, but I love watching winter squash grow. It just gets crazy out there. And I absolutely love it. I think it, it, it's the kid in me or something because it reminds me of like uh, 
Jack and the Beanstalk or something. You know, it's just so exciting to see how crazy it goes. But I'll every year I try to grow some kind of winter squash and Kushaw was the pick this year just to give it a try so we could see how we enjoyed it. Another jar done. See, one squash goes a long way. We're gonna just kind of wash those rims off to make sure there isn't anything on there. We want our new ring. And just keep plugging along. It won't take long to have this canner loaded. That's why I thought this could be a, we could do it together for the first time. I've done butternut and it turned out wonderful. I used it all year in place of pumpkin in my muffins and they were absolutely delicious. All right. Let me grab the smaller of the two here. Boy, this one's got a big, thick neck on it. Oops, right <laughs> my dish water. I'll get that out because Lucy will totally enjoy that. This, up. this is so thick. Order it up, cube it. Oops, oops. Man, that's dish water today. Just mash them in there as many as I can get because I know this is going to shrink down. And like I said, this being water, you can just kind of shake it around. It's not a thick syrup and make sure you don't have any air pockets. of it is the easiest part. The round part, you don't get as much meat out of, and there's, you know, it's full of seeds and stuff, but I mean, there's still stuff there, but it's not near the amount that you get from the neck of it. 
I found that with a lot of like butternut and things like that, the neck is always your best part of the melon or of the squash. today anyways I may go back tomorrow and do another load just so that I can have basically what I want canned for the season. I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of this neck part here. It even smells to me like pumpkin. I always just take a spoon and scrape all those bits out till it's nice and smooth. I'll show you when I'm done. To fill our jar. And what I'm thinking, just so this doesn't waste or, you know, gnats or whatever don't come to it, I may go ahead and cut this up and get it in some jars so that I can start another canner load either tonight or tomorrow when I get in. I don't think I have enough quarts for a full canner load. I was just thinking I'm going to have to buy more quart jars. I just don't want any of it to go to waste because we'll use every bit of this. All right, our canner's loaded. All right, we're gonna get our lid on, take our weight off. When you're pressure canning, you want to bring your, you want to get a good steam coming through this part right here for 10 minutes at vents. Then you can put your weight on. Then once it gets up to pressure, we're gonna pressure can this since it's quartz for 90 minutes. The recipe said for pints, 55 minutes. So, but we're doing quarts because that's personally the size I like to use when I'm making a batch of pumpkin muffins. So, we're gonna let this go. Once it comes to, up to venting, I'll come back. For now, I'm gonna go take all these scraps out to Miss Lucy Girl. I'm just bagging these tomatoes up. We're gonna take them, we'll work them at work, all that good stuff. And we will just take those. That one's kind of nasty. We're not gonna take it. We're gonna throw it out to the chickens. But we will take these in and use these at work. We'll wash them and chop them there. There's no need in doing that before we get there. All these cucumbers, what Wayne does not take with him to work tomorrow, I will take to my uncle. He loves them. 
and the green beans, I am going to um, I'm going to just put in a bowl. I think I have a big bowl of produce in the fridge I need to do something with too. Until I get, well, I'll probably go ahead and snap these and put these in a bag and do kind of like that as we are going. I got a few okra here and Wayne picked a few sweet peppers. So we'll put that over there. But that kind of clears out some of the area and I like to try to stay on top of that. But I believe we're getting close. Whenever that comes up and steams for 10 minutes, we'll be back. I decided I'm gonna go ahead and kind of categorize these items in this bowl and get it out of the refrigerator. This tomatoes can go to work. We'll get those out. I'm gonna have to do a new bag here. Yeah, we'll just do a new bag. These over here, so maybe I won't forget them. We have put up so many tomato products, it is crazy. I'm going to do another batch of poppers soon. So I will save all these peppers for that. I hate for anything to go to waste, so I really, truly try to stay on top of those things because I don't want to lose anything. We've worked hard for all this food. I don't want any of it to go to waste. So that's why I really try to be earnest and stay on top of the harvest because if not, you're just wasting your time, you know? So that's, that's just me, but anyways. All right, those are kind of mushy and these little things here. So we did get a little waste, but that's okay. And that's a mushy tomato. We've got all of our peppers in a bag. I've got a few more over there. This is getting dumped. Get that out of my refrigerator because you can't even get in there hardly all the produce and stuff in there and get my little mess from the green beans cleaned up. Here's a few more peppers down here. Here's Wayne's uh, Carolina Reapers. He's been growing this year. I try not to even touch them. I'm scared they'll burn my face off. But anyways, I'll throw all those peppers in there and we have a full gallon bag of peppers I need to deal with. These will be going to work. That should last us another few days until I pick again. Another simple thing that I do, and I haven't started yet, but we're starting right now, is I freeze my okra. I don't wash it, anything. I pick it, throw it in a bag and pop it in the freezer. And whenever I take it out, I just put it in some water, wash it good, cut it up, and put it in some meal and flour and fry We're gonna start an okra bag because we only have like eight plants. So we will need to add to this daily. So that's what we're gonna do. We'll just pop this in the freezer and every day when we pick our okra, we'll add to the bag. All right, we have been at a steady steam stream. I'm gonna show you for about 10 minutes. You see that steam coming out? So we're gonna put our weight on. And now it's gonna to start to build pressure. And once we get up to 10 pounds of pressure, we will start our timer for 90 minutes, not till then. I just set the timer for 90 minutes on our canner. We'll be back when that goes off and we'll see what it looks like. All right, friends, it's the next day. I've just left this canner alone and let it set and completely cool. And we're gonna take the lid off and get our squash out. Look how beautiful it looks. Looks like they're all sealed. And we have seven beautiful pints of squash to enjoy through the fall and winter months that's 
prepared and ready to use. I don't have to cook it or anything. So I'm excited about that. Anyways, thank you for stopping back by our homestead. Please like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, goodbye, friends.